Welcome back to our channel everyone. Today I'm going to show you my favorite recipe of all times, the braised short ribs with wet wine. Here's a list of ingredients you need. We got the short ribs from Costco, it was only $41.86. And this is a really good deal for US Prime. We'll start off by peeling the carrots. We're going to divide the carrots into two separate groups. One group will have large chunks and the other group will be finely diced. And for the salary, we're going to finely dice all of them. Next, we're going to give our short ribs a nice sear. Put a little oil in the Dutch oven on high heat and then add in your short ribs. Season with salt and pepper. Make sure to flip your short ribs so you get a nice sear on all sides. When you're done, this is what you should be seeing. Remove the short ribs and let them rest. Without cleaning the Dutch oven, add in the celery, finely diced carrots and garlic. Do not add in the large chunks of carrots yet, we're saving that for later. The fat rendered from the short ribs is going to give this a really nice flavor. After about 3 minutes of stirring, Add in your flour as well as your tomato paste. Make sure to stir quickly so that the mixture does not stick to the bottom. When it's nice and golden brown, pour in the red wine to deglaze the pan. Now our short ribs are ready to go back into the pan. Make sure you leave the meat side down and the bone side up. Now we're adding the large chunks of carrots. This is already looking and smelling amazing. We just need to add in our thyme as well as our chicken broth and we're done. We're gonna bring it to a simmer and then close the lid and it's ready to go into the oven. This is going into the oven at 350 degrees for about 4 hours. After 4 hours, this is what you should see. The aroma from this dish is incredible. And let me tell you, this is the most tender short ribs you ever have. Some of these have even fallen off the bones already. Let me show you a piece real quick right here. You do not need any knives to enjoy this dish. So here it is, our dinner for tonight. We paired our short ribs with a simple mushroom risotto. Please try this recipe the next time you're hosting dinner night. This is a dish that will be sure to impress your guests. Thank you for watching, we'll see you next time.